Hi, just want to make a quick little video. Probably could have done this with a still photo, but uh, I've got a few friends following the tilapia experiments along. So what I want to do is show you we're, we're pretty quick approaching the time to expect babies. I expect them any time to, to see fry in here. And I've heard other people tell me they've had problems with uh, predation by the adults on the fry. And uh, so in anticipation of that, I was a little worried about it. Uh, I want to show you one of the breeding colonies. This is the most naturalized breeding colony I'm experimenting with. Uh, this one has uh, blue tilapia in it. And uh, any day we should expect some fry to be showing up. Who knows? It's up to them, I guess. But anyway, uh, this is 100 gallons. Uh, we've got uh, four tilapia, uh, I think five in here, a male and four females. Uh, we've got some water hyacinth on the top. The detail I wanted to show you was this box that I made because normally the fry will seek refuge in the uh, water hyacinth or whatever plant material you have to hide from the adults to keep from getting eating, eaten. But I built this little box. Now all it is is a section of corrugated drain tile with half inch hardware cloth in it. And if you look inside, I hope you can see that, maybe you can, you can see a little scrap piece of, of uh, insulation foam that uh, provides some flotation to hold it up high in the tank and among the plants. So what I do is I just snuggle it in here among the plants. When the fry start to show up, they will have an absolute refuge from uh, any adults, especially the males, are pretty aggressive about that, eating the babies. And, on, and while I'm here, I might show you the, the really interesting, the filtering capacity of the roots of the water hyacinth. Now I probably shook a lot of it off, this may not be a good example, but this water hyacinth roots, the top you nibble on them a little bit, and that's okay, they need a little salad. But uh, the roots have this really unique ability. If I can find one that's loaded up pretty heavy, uh, I can show you. There's one. I don't know if you can see coming off the roots in the water as I lift it. But as the current from the aeration lifts, lifts water up from the bottom, it circulates across the top to be aerated, and it carries with it particulate matter, uh, waste, uh, algae particles, things like that. They deposit on the roots of the water hyacinth. They, the water hyacinth just filters it out of the water, mechanically, sort of, and uh, provides a good place for uh, uh, beneficial bacteria to grow, nitrifying bacteria, things like that. So this, this is probably the most naturalized version I've got going right now. And uh, so I'm doing it in comparison. Anyway, just checking in, showing you the experiments. Talk with you later.